What's up guys, this is Danky Drake h 20 and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this item elevator. Uh, so you just toss it in, watch as it goes right on up to the top, like this one. Uh, beautiful, best design I've seen so far, so let's begin. Alrighty guys, so to build this design, first what you're going to want to do is build a nice little 3x3 three three, um, glass thing, leave the center hollow temporarily, watch with the center. Place, or dig down to and place a piston, place a glass block on top of that piston, and then continue to build this up. Um, here you're actually going to want to fill or make the center filled in except for that bottom block there, and you can knock that one out temporarily too. Um, so let's just build up here. I'm not actually going to make this one too high because I don't need to make it that high for demonstration purposes. It can pretty much go as high or as low as you need it to, although it cannot carry it an item up one block, you can probably think of simpler things to do that. But this is the most compact way to get items up multiple blocks. So let's just build this up here. And so now what I've got here is a little depression at the top and then hollow right here with a piston at the bottom. Then you're in the place another piston right there. And you guys are pretty much done with this part. So what you're going to do now is actually place ice along here. Uh, just go out of this thing and then four right here and then let's wall this in like I'm doing here just follow what I'm doing and place that right there or place an ice block right there place a glass block there there and then what you're gonna do is build up one two there knock this one out one two there knock this one out and then just go one two three four five six seven eight from there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oopsies, I actually went one too far. I cannot count today. So this is nine blocks in total. And then you're just going to wall this in like I'm doing here. Um, so let's knock this one out. And basically, oopsies, I didn't want to do that. The reason I came up with this idea, well, there have been other ones like this. I used to use JL2579's design. Except I wanted one that was actually a little bit simpler where I could understand what was going on. And so that's what this is. And so now you're done with this part. You can just place water at each end. And there you go. You're done with this. So let's begin with the redstone. So for the redstone, you're going to need some redstone dust. Some sort of block, a repeater, and a torch. Now you're just going to run blocks down this line. Uh, I believe to right around there, maybe. Might have to be a little bit further. We'll see in a minute. Um, and then you're just going to go every other block along this line up, starting with the one away from this block. So just go like this. And yes, you do actually have to go one further. And then in these little depressions, just go with repeaters. And they're all on four tapes, like these. And at the end here, just place two reds, then dusts like so actually i'm not sure that dust is necessary no that's not really necessary Alrighty. time set zero place a torch here with then two ticks of delay on it or oh, <laughs> not two ticks uh two repeaters each on four ticks delay place a block behind this pissed in there and then grab some redstone from that, run it down one here, and then place it onto another repeater. And this one's going to be on three ticks delay. There we go. You guys are done. Uh, you just have to add your tripwire hooks and your tripwire itself. So as soon as you do that, you guys are actually done. And then I'll show you some improvements you can make. Actually, let's place blocks there just to make sure the items don't fly out of here. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys some improvements you can make here. But for now, you guys can see that you just toss an item in, and it goes up to the top. So now over here, I have some improvements. Uh, these are simple things that can really make things better. So over here, an item aligner, that just brings it up from 99% accuracy to 99.9. .9. To do that, you just have a little thing of water that goes for eight blocks, all on ice, preferably. Uh, into an iron bar that's surrounded by glass on three sides like this. Then that drops a meter down into the water here. 
Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be eight blocks. I just feel that it's the best. You can put always place a sign there at the end. Well, actually, no, you don't even need a sign because this holds the water in. So no need for that. And um, so then the other improvement you should make is in that little animal liner stream. These two really need to be done together. And if you do one, I suggest you do the other. This thing here just helps radiate, um, like, when there's a continuous stream of items so that items will not despawn, they will all make it up to the top. Basically what you do here is you just connect this tripwire hook with the redstone on the back. You just connect that down here to this little stream at the end with a piston there so it can get pushed up and temporarily hold off the stream. And you put one of these things on top so the items will not pop out. Uh, and there needs to be a repeater in there, even though the redstone distance isn't the same, because it will have have a, a um, what's the word, fluctuating pulse. I tried placing the pistons in various other places. didn't work too well. Um, here was JL2579's design. His is a little bit more compact. Mine's a little bit more simple to understand. Um, personal preference at that point. But you can see that my design and his design both work beautifully. Uh, for now, guys, though, this is Danky Drink h 20 signing out. Have a nice day, and let me demonstrate this one here with the improvements. So the item aligner just puts it in the center there, and, it, and this thing blocks the items. So if you have several items that are flowing in it in a continuous stream, uh, let's place some dirt in now. It just stops that from triggering um, from, like, because if, if I put it in here, place all the items in here you can see that there's a small problem it's that this thing doesn't or the tripwire doesn't have a long enough um, delay in between the items flowing over it to actually have the items go up and they will despawn so that's what that thing back there does is it prevents that from happening and I haven't had any items go out so far I just said 99% just so in case it does you guys like don't attempt to sue me or anything because that wouldn't make me happy. But um, for now, guys, this is Danky Drink H2O signing out. Hope you all have a nice day. Peace.